all the root jaws. Um, as we age, you see sagging the skin along the jawline. No, down in here, we typically call those jowls. Um, can come from the natural loss of skin elasticity, muscle tone that happens over time with aging. Sun, environment, smoking, definitely ex accelerate these things. But you can see this effect in the drama that makes people look older, angry, and, and just gives an unpleasant appearance when you look in the mirror. So there's a lot of different options that both men and women can consider for how to improve their jawline uh, and improve their facial aesthetic. So let's talk about a few of the most common ones. First of all, we're going to talk about surgery. A facelift, mini facelift, jaw lift, neck lift, however you want to call it. Uh, and there's a lot of names for facelifts out there. But at the end of the day, the technique is surgically to take the extra skin off back here, take the subcutaneous tissue, the fat, soft tissue, underneath, and use that to help support the lift. It's not just pulling the skin, it's using the tissue underneath. Um, focusing primarily along the jawline, whether that's full facelift, neck lift, mini facelift, short scar, etc. The idea is to take this tissue and lift and pull, resect some of the extra fat that's underneath, and trim and shape the area under and here. This can give a more defined, crisp jawline that again looks natural and keeps you looking like you. That's what I think a good facelift, neck lift should be. Um, it's potentially beneficial for uh, severe jowl, sagging skin in the lower face, or even just le more subtle, less skin hanging. We still can treat that surgically with a facelift. I also want to talk about injectable fillers. If you've got milder signs, you want more minimally invasive op options, something we can do in the office, we can inject dermal fillers, things like Juvederm Voluma, Juvederm Velux, along the jawline to, to camouflage the area, but also by giving that support to help, li help lift up the loose skin in the area. Um, these procedures typically last for about, you know, by the, by the box, by what they found in study, about two years, but I find most patients are typically re-injecting about 15 to 18 months to help support that area. There's very little downtime, sometimes from bruising, but essentially you have it done in the office and go home the same day with makeup, go about your normal activity. We also have the option to radio frequency skin tightening. So what radio frequency does is it uses energy to create heat, which stimulates collagen and elastin formation. It's a non-surgical treatment, can be effective for some more mild signs, some mild tightening of those areas, often done in combination with things like filler, uh, to give a little bit more subtle, softer tightening across the jowl and the extra skin there. Lastly, always have to talk about the neck when we talk about the jowl. While Kybella and Cool Sculpting aren't necessarily specific for that jowling, the way the, the extra fat under the neck relates to it, these are procedures we can do in the office. How to find out what you want to do? There's more information on the website at ohioplastic.com or call, come in, schedule an appointment, 740-653-5064. We'll go over your options and help you find what's right for you.